As a child, I remember spending a lot of time with my grandfather and I absolutely adored him. We'd spend our evenings watching old TV reruns and movies of all kinds, science fiction, war movies, but his favourites were always westerns. I remember one in particular, because he was a country fan, he told me that the lead role guy was a country singer called Chris Christopherson. And it also starred another musician called Bob Dylan. Who are you? That's a good question. Mama, take this badge off of me. I can't use it anymore. Bob Dylan got word that there was a new movie being made called Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Now this got Dylan really excited because he was obsessed with Billy the Kid to the point where he used to joke with his friends that he was actually a reincarnation of Billy. The screenwriter was also an associate of Bob Dylan's. His name was Rudolf Wurlitzer and immediately Dylan approached him and told him he wanted to be part of the project. Knock, 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 Wurlitzer was actually happy to have Dylan on the project and asked him to write three songs initially and then suggested they should fly down to Mexico City to meet the film director Sam Peckinpah. They did so and when Sam heard the songs he was deeply moved by the tracks and not only did he ask Dylan to write the full soundtrack but he actually created a role for him in the movie. After a few weeks on set Wurlitzer recalled that him and Dylan were on a flight to location the next day and he expressed that he wanted to write a piece of music for the Slim Pickens death scene. He scrolled some stuff down on a piece of paper, handed it to Wurlitzer, and then that later became Knocking on Heaven's Door. Knock, knock, knocking on Heaven's Door Knock, knock, knocking on I must have been around eight or nine when I saw that movie and I remember the death scene. And I remember the, how the music emphasized the sadness. That scene stayed with me for a long time. Knocking on Heaven's Door is now over 50 years old and it's been covered by hundreds of artists including Eric Clapton, Patti Smith, Nick Cave, Roger Waters, the list goes on and on. But in 1991 Guns N' Roses released their version on the soundtrack for Days of Thunder. I'm dropping the hammer! No you're not! I was a huge fan of the band and at the time, I was asked to perform in a school concert. That would have been my first performance in front of a live audience. And you can guess what I played, right? Mama put my guns in the ground I can't shoot them anymore But what really makes this song so special? Why have artists been covering it for years? Dylan's biographer said it was an exercise in splendid simplicity. And I have to agree, it's four simple chords, so beginners love it. It's only got two minimal verses and a really hooky chorus. The song contains themes on mortality, death and the afterlife. And perhaps Dylan pulled some inspiration from his own life experiences. The fact is, it's the song's simplicity and universality that has helped it endure over the years. It's ingrained in our culture. Love it or loathe it, it's here and it'll probably outlive most of us. Oh 